What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and I'm here to share some very exciting news with you today. The Age of Empires 3 African Royals DLC slash expansion is coming to us on August 2nd. You can see right here the trailer that was just posted today on all of the official uh, Microsoft social media. I am, I'm sure many of you have already watched this video featuring the new DLC, but I'm gonna dive into a few of the details um, of what's coming. I'll be sure to share this link in the description if you wanna watch this trailer yourself. Okay, so on August 2nd, we know this DLC is gonna be coming to us. That's just under two weeks from now. They told us that it'd be coming this August and they're delivering on promise August 2nd. I mean, I don't think you get much closer than that. I do find it qu quite strange that the release date is a Monday, but who knows? That's when we're gonna be gaming. Um, and it's gonna be bringing two brand new civilizations. And if you have not seen the, the recent uh, screen caps, uh, we do know there's gonna be the Ethiopians and the Hassa civilizations. Um, and it also says gain new alliances with every age and use your influence, which is a brand new resource that's going to be uh, for these civilizations. Um, I find a lot of these civilizations, uh, a lot of the features to be very similar to a lot of what I remember from when I used to play Age of Mythology. So it'll be interesting in the comments if any of you guys felt the same way if you did play that game. Um, so I see the influence almost being like favor from that game, um, or you could say it's very close to the export that we have for our Asian dynasty civilizations. Um, and uh, you use this influence to hire units and research technologies. Um, in addition, experience three all new historical battles, 15 new African maps. That blows my mind. That's I, I didn't really expect this or know that I wanted it, but I'm super excited. 15 maps. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we had an all African map pool uh, for the ranked coming out of the gate. Um, but who knows? It's, it's definitely be fun getting to play on these new maps. And those are going to include five new indigenous African civilizations to uh, ally with um, and play your way through several new achievements if you're into getting those achievements. Okay. Now, there is a lot of information here. And to be frank, I'm not going to go through everything that's on here and bore you with reading. I will encourage you to come over to ageofempires.com and read through yourself. I will post a link in the description, but I'll hit a few of the highlights of from what I've noticed here. Okay, so we know we've got our two new civilizations, and they can construct a palace to recruit mercenaries. Um, alliance units, imported artillery, and new Gatling camel. You'll see that in the trailer. Who doesn't like a Gatling camel? Um, you can build a granary, which will lure the hunts towards it, which reminded me in Age of Mythology, you could put down like a hunting, uh, like rune that would bring the hunts in and also gives a boost to nearby food gathering. Um, and you build a livestock market. So you don't need to build a market and a livestock pen. You've got the livestock market. And this is obviously going to be really crucial to civilization. It says that you can turn your hunts into resources or your herds into resources. So um, there's a lot of bonuses that you'll read throughout these notes that talk about um, herds, uh, using these cattle and this market. So I think that's going to play a, a huge role in this civ. Um, so first thing it talks about is the new influence resource um, which um, is a new gameplay feature uh, and is spent primarily at the palace on native warriors, mercenaries, unlockable units from age ups. Um, with those age ups, it does mention that uh, we'll, we'll get down that a little bit later, but those, those age ups are each unique, very similar to the United States. Each of them can give you maybe different units you can unlock different tech trees, which is really cool. I don't think right now there's any age up mechanics that actually gives you different tech trees, which is very similar to Age of Mythology. Every age up, you picked a different god, different resources, different units. Very similar to me. Um, you can get this influence through trading posts, native settlements, shipment crates, owning large herds of cattle. We should have like a ticker up in the corner for every time it mentions cattle. Uh, university. Where have we had the university before? <coughs> Age of Empires 2. Uh, and the unique Hassa building that trickles XP or influence under the sphere of influence or uh, trickles fastest when near a town center, training post, or palace. Okay, so that's the way you get this resource. Um, the Mountain Monastery, unique Ethiopian building. Villagers and abons can, can be tasked to gather coin and influence building construction on coin mines. So I think it's just another way to get more gold. Um, and then Age of Alliances, uh, giving you different ways to get that influence. Okay. Now, unique hero uh, abilities. 
the Hausa Emir and the Ethiopia, Ethiopian Raz, uh, the Africans share the chaos ability, which means they can make treasure guardians turn on each other and kill each other. Crazy. Um, and it says it lasts longer if they have uh, stronger, if it's a stronger guardian based on kill XP. Um, they have a fieldy aura, which where their stats are improved by each nearby allied unit. I thought that was very unique. It says that the hero stats are improved by each nearby unit. Where you typically we have the opposite, where like a war chief would give buffs to the units around it. It sounds like here the units will be buffing the war chief. So, or, or sorry, the uh, the hero, African hero. So very excited about that. Uh, players can obtain additional heroes from various cards and technologies. This yet again screams age of mythology to me you can have multiple heroes you can train in your town center as you go through the ages it sounds like you're gonna be able to get these different heroes to throw into your army comp on the battlefield um so really excited about that um i don't know that's where they got their influence but it's fine with me i love that game uh shared buildings uh you can go through the list of all these here but essentially we've got the livestock market the palace port a hut which is a house that has 10 population as usual but different militia could be levied using influence costs. So houses that can have like Minutemen everywhere. What? So I don't know the turtle capabilities of that. Um, the field. This is really cool. Two villagers may gather food or coin from it. Um, very cheap to construct, but takes a long time to sow. So two villagers per field. You know, are you gonna have a bunch of farms, a bunch of these fields everywhere? Um, and I imagine you're gonna put these granaries around them um, to boost the gather rates. Uh, it's going to be very interesting how much space that takes up and what the gallery rates of those end up being. Um, their military building is the war camp, which trains all African military units. Watchtower, an outpost that can train outlaws. And town centers, as usual, walls, gates, as usual. Okay. So, Agent Mechanic, I encourage you to watch that YouTube video and pause because they scroll over it and you can read a few of these different cards. Um, but you can see right here. Um, They've got a few of the different age ups, 700 coin, church builder, arsenal builder, seven Sudanese, uh, dervishes, one Indian market. Uh, and you see all different texts. Looks very similar to what we know of USA and the federal states. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's very nice. Very unique royal army. Uh, and then Ethiopia, here's the Ethiopian home city. We saw uh, released, uh, I think, last week on the social media. Um, and it will tell you about uh, your home, make your home with palaces and mountain monasteries with the Chateau Warriors break the enemy lines and your mortars rain explosive shots on units and buildings alike. So these mortars can attack units and buildings. Kind of unique for mortar. Um, kind of, I guess almost similar to China, I would say, but these things are huge. Uh, train the Oromo Warriors. I mean, this, this just all becomes word soup to me. There's just like a million new units. So I'm not going to begin to try to go through all of these. Go through and read these notes. Um, one thing that really stood out to me uh, I'll let you you read through the Ethiopian units. Is I'm really excited about these Hassa units. Uh, why is that? You know, I like Lakota and I like Calvary quite a bit. They seem to have some quite interesting sounding, at least on paper, cavalry units to me. Um, their livestock trades and influential universities and guard possessions, the, the Magadi guards, imported cannons, uh, fast raiders, and Lafiti knights. So let's read about a few of these. Uh, Lafiti Knight is a powerful heavy cavalry with exceptional HP but low damage. Has dual resistances. That sounds kind of interesting. A knight's got dual resistances. And then H2, you can get a mobile hand cavalry with decent siege damage. I love sieging things down with cavalry. Good against light infantry and villagers. So, good against buildings, light infantry, villagers. Sign me up. Sounds great. Um, and then... Paired also in H2, you can have the Javelin Rider, Range Cavalry, good against Hand Cavalry. Now, I thought this was interesting. They have this a few times throughout here. It's a Range Cavalry unit, good against Hand Cavalry, particularly in melee. So, Range Cavalry, they run up, pull out their swords. I don't know, but they're apparently better in melee. It's very interesting to me. Um, definitely a kind of a more unique mechanic for this cavalry. Uh, you'll see the same thing on some of these units. Uh, and then... This is why the civs obviously going to be for me. Age one, the Griot or Griot or however it is, inspiring musician and storyteller who can increase the work rate of buildings and speed of nearby units. Kind of like your Egyptian pharaoh or priest in age mythology. Uses instruments to intimidate enemies, which slows their attack speed. 
So you guys know this civilization's got a musician that intimidates enemies. It's got some pretty cool sounding uh, cavalry units. I'm really excited to try out the Hasa. And of course, I'll, I'm sure I will like the Ethiopians too, but this just really stood out to me reading these notes. Um, and then they do have three new historical battles. If that's your thing, go through those. Um, and then new achievements for all you achievement warriors out there. And you can pre-order this on the Steam store for $9.99. Okay, so the African Royals for Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition is going to be coming out on August the 2nd. You know I'm going to be playing it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. I'm going to be re releasing a ton of African DLC uh, content. And you know I'll be coming up with the strategy guides and everything that I'm learning along the way. So you won't want to miss out. Uh, please leave a comment below and at, maybe after you read through these patch notes and watch the video, let me know what you're most excited about um, or some things maybe you have questions about that we can go over um, as we get more information about these civilizations. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, if you have not already, head on over to twitch.tv slash Fitzbro and hit that follow button to catch my next gaming live stream. I'll see you there.